Antonio. Nature's ultimate treasure trove. Where new species are discovered every month. But this is no tranquil paradise. From the highest peaks to the lowest waves, battles are waged daily. It's still got the detonator in it, right? Men and women risk their lives fighting for this unique world. Forging a better future. This is Frontier Borneo. Across the border, in northeastern Sabah, Sun Bear researcher Wong Siu Ti is heading across the state on a rescue mission. Today, we are going to Lokawi Wildlife Park to pick up a juvenile sun bear. Dodop is a 10-month-old sun bear who has recently been rescued from illegal captivity. Wong has devoted his life to the care of these animals, and he hopes Dodop can be released back into the wild. So you want to have a look yeah, at sure. the dog? So this is the dog. We're going to sedate. I'm going to do by hand. You can do by hand, ka? So we basically play around with her. Wong is concerned by what Dr. Rosa has said. Sun bears are wild animals with razor-sharp claws. Oh, okay. They should not be handled. <laughs> This is one of the very few bears that manage to let strangers get close and even touch the feet, yeah? Her friendly behavior is a clear indication she is used to human contact. For Wong, this is not a good sign. If she is habituated to people, she might not become a good candidate for release. It's very difficult for the bears to develop fear to people. Wong is worried about what other habits Dodop may have developed during her time in captivity. He must conduct a health check. First, Dr. Rosa will have to sedate her. Okay. The 10-month-old bear cub is in distress, but the handlers cannot relent. I'm sorry. Since Dodop is so young, very light sedatives have been administered. This means the team has less than 30 minutes before she rouses again. Temperature 38.4. But during the procedure, Wong makes a heartbreaking discovery. Sabah, northeastern Borneo. Wong Siu Ti is rescuing Dodop, a 10-month-old sun bear recently released from uh, captivity. Oh, she's extremely tame. During a routine health check, he makes a heartbreaking discovery. So I'm going to show you there. So right now, I'm looking at checking at her missing canine that I suspect uh, her canine being pulled off by the previous owner. Same thing on the right side as well. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Sun bears need their canine teeth to chew tree trunks in the search for food. Without them, Dodop has no chance of being released back into the wild. For Wong, this is devastating news. Bohong. I don't I don't believe that. It's a permanent team. Memang dia punya root dalam itu. Susah mau gugur itu. And then four lagi. Sempat all the four can I is gone. I feel really sad. You know, I have high hope of this cup. Uh, it's just too bad that she cannot be released back into the wild. 
Uh, regardless, we will take good care of her. Dodop's new home, the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center. Okay, yeah, open up. She'll live in this quarantine area for a month before she's introduced to the forested enclosure outdoors. Okay, good girl, good girl. Whew. That's a very good, smooth transition. Let's uh, check in there. Mm, you want to open yourself? How's that? I don't know how to open it. Huh? Despite not being a candidate for release, she'll still be taught the skills to feed herself. From now on, we are going to teach her to be a bear. At the Borneo Sun Bear Conservation Center in Sabah, Dodop is settling into her new life. Lester, one of the bear keepers at the center, has been assigned as her surrogate parent. His job is to teach Dodo up the skill mm. she never had the chance to learn from her mother. This is the first time that they feed with this fruit. It's rambutan. So this is because this is their first time. So they didn't even know how to open it or how to eat it. Makan ko ni. Nah. Nah, sedap. Belum habis. Makan lagi. Jangan membazir. Uh, when the sunbirds love some food or something, they're going to rub on their head to keep the smells near to their nose. So they will always smell their favorite things. It's become her favorite fruit. Two weeks have gone by and Dodop is now very much at home. But something appears strange to Lester. When he started chewing my hand, it's felt like been, my hand been shred. As he checks up on her, he discovers something unexpected. Her upper can I start to grow, so it means when she was kept as a pet, the milk tree, the one that been pulled off. So right now, four of her can I start to growing back. This is sensational news. Once, her future looked like it was to be spent behind bars. Oh, I think her future is going to be very, very good. With her new canines, she now has a chance of surviving in the wild. Crocodile, anything that goes into the area, they might want to attack. It's still got the detonator in it. You don't want to let it dry out, otherwise it will go off. She's there, she's there. Yeah, yeah. Borneo. Nature's ultimate treasure trove. Where new species are discovered every month. But this is no tranquil paradise. From the highest peaks, to below its waves, battles are waged daily. Here, men and women gamble their lives, fighting for this unique world, forging a better future. There you go. This is Frontier Borneo. The forests of Sandakan. A team from the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center is preparing a key operation. Bear researcher Wang Su Ti has gathered his most experienced crew. Most days they would be caring for over 40 injured sun bears. After the giant panda, it is the second rarest bear species on Earth. But the team's focus today is on a single animal. Lawa, a nine-year-old female. Lawa has been acting really well over the last few years. It means that she rarely come back to the bear house. 
Uh, that's why we think she's ready for release. Before Lawa can be returned to the forest, Wong and his team have to fit her with a satellite collar, which helps them keep track of her movements. But getting a collar on Lawa means coming face to face with her powerful jaws and sharp claws. Feeling cornered, she could charge. A tranquilizer dart is the only way. Lawa is there already. Inside perimeter zone, can to that Lawa. What's up, it is you. The team have no time to waste. So, what's up, Lawa? Yeah, yeah, di, di belakang. Okay, right now we spotted Lawa about 20 meters in front of us. So we are going to slowly approach her and then uh, let the dart in. Lawa isn't having any of Wong's plan. Before the team can aim, she's gone. So this is a high and sick games from now on. The hunt is back on. As plantations encroach onto Borneo's ancient forests, some of its animals need help. Members of the Borneian Sun Bear Conservation Center are trying to prepare Lawa for release and fit her with a radio collar. The vegetation is very thick. The visibility is really low. Time for a new strategy. We are trying to slowly drive Lawa into an open area so that the vet can have a clean shot. Yeah, that's the plan, at least. Okay. She's there, she's there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they are planning to get on your The team finally get their chance. Okay, they are going to go to the Okay, that, that, that. It's a direct hit. She's a little bit panicked right now, but she's doing well. No aggression. She did not attempt to charge us. A charging bear can kill a man. This is a relief. Ah, diam, 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 diam. Jangan bergerak, jangan bergerak kamu semua di bagian pen J sana itu. Despite the tranquilizer, Lawa is not ready to give up the fight. Yeah, she's she's coming back. No fucking. First dose, the volume of the drug is not enough. Hopefully, the second dose will bring her down quick. Yeah. Slowing down, but she's still doing the pacing. Yeah. This time, the drugs work. So they're going to need to canvas. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. There is no time to lose. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Lawa is quickly overheating in the sun. She won't be asleep for long. The team will have to carry out a full health check in under 40 minutes. Ice. Uh, temperature. 39.3. I'm going to check her pulse rate right now. She's holding her breath. Checkup completed. Wong is satisfied Lawa is healthy. Get ready for the collar. Lay, lay, lay. But there's a hitch. Maximum 47.2. Maximum 47.2. Uh. We can try. Lawa has grown more than expected. A little bit too tight. Time for At the Bornay and Sun Bear no, Conservation no. Center in Sandakan, Bear researcher Wong is having some trouble. The satellite collar for Lawa is too tight. Yeah, she's a big girl. 
Lawa is due to wake up soon. Get up. Okay. He has to hurry. Yeah, mommy, got her back. A little DIY. An effective secret weapon. Sometimes it's the speediest option. Job done. The collar is not too tight compared to the first time, and I uh, hope that the collar stay on. She's waking up. One, two, three. Okay, easy. It's been a long but successful day. Lawa is now a step closer to being free once more. If all goes to plan, within a month, she will be back in the wild forests of Borneo. Borneo, nature's ultimate treasure trove. Here, new species are discovered every month. But this is no tranquil paradise. From the highest peaks to below its waves. Battles are waged daily. Men and women risk their lives, fighting for this unique world, forging a better future. There you go. Yeah, there you go. This is Frontier Borneo. Sabah is home to sun bears, the smallest bears in the world. In the wild, their survival is at risk. The Borneo Sun Bear Conservation Center is fighting to protect this species. Today is a very special day for Sun Bear Lawa. After eight years of rehabilitation, she will be released into a wild forest. Lawa will be carried by a helicopter and dropped at a camp 22 in the middle of the mud volcano. She will be released over there. After that, we only will be able to track her from the satellite caller. Wong Su T, founder of the center, has assembled a large team for this release. This will be the second time the center has released a sun bear back into the wild, if it goes to plan. Right now, we are trying to free range darting Lawa in this enclosure. Obviously. She can choose to run away, she can choose to charge, so we do not know. Despite the dangers, the team enters the enclosure with only fire extinguishers and poles for protection. Freedom awaits Lawa, but liberty could have a price. At 50 kilograms, a bear on a rampage can kill. She's still in here, in front of us. Later we see we can slowly drive her towards the bear house. Hey, uh, Rosa, to the Lawa is in a panic, and vet Dr. Rosa can't afford to miss this shot. It's a hit. Easy, easy. And Lawa's freaking out. The drugs inject into the fat layer rather than muscle, then it takes even longer. Lawa disappears from view just as the sedative seems to be taking effect. Oh, can I die, yeah? Lawa is now in mortal danger. It's all canvas, canvas. Okay, okay, okay. She's collapsed face down in a stream. As the team pulls Lawa out of the water, her body is limp and lifeless. 
Wong has to get her to the surgery room fast. Every second is vital now. Lawa oh. is completely unresponsive. She's showing no signs of life as Wong desperately looks for her pulse. Sun bear Lawa is due to be released back into the wild. But while tranquilized, she collapses face first into a stream. Wong fears she's drowned. Lawa shows signs of life. Pulse rate 120. But Wong is still concerned. He's worried the dose of tranquilizer was excessive. Tadi itu dosis kalau dapat kasih dia berapa? Dua ml. Dua ml. Ada anestesia yang deep lah. Reassured, Wong can now focus on the upcoming release. He checks the fit of the satellite collar. This collar will allow Wong to track Lawa's travels in the forest. If all goes well, she will be set free tomorrow. We are waiting her to wake up a bit. We only move her to the trust sufficient cage so we can do a further observation when we are still available to. Poor prints made, Lawa is still sleeping as she is transferred to a small travel box. She's not going to be happy, but the reward to come is worth it. It's now 2 a.m. Wong's team at the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center are preparing to release Sun Bear Lawa back into the wild. Carry cage is loaded for the overnight trip. She's very agitated Hello. right now. Hello. As you can see, she's not happy. And the journey ahead is a long one. What we have to do is drive to Tabin, and then the helicopter is going to depart Kurakinabalu at 7 o'clock in the morning, and then expected to arrive at Tabin Wildlife Reserve at about 9 o'clock. After a difficult day, Wong is now hoping for the best. On a hot and humid day, bear researcher Wong Siu Ti and his team have reached Tabin Wildlife Reserve, one of the biggest protected forests in this country. It's a safe place to release Lawa. But she's already showing signs of overheating, so the team has to get moving. Wong has a release site in mind, the mud volcano at the center of the park. It's a long way away from anywhere, reachable only by helicopter or days of trekking. Prepping the cage for transfer proves tricky. It's caught at the top of the cargo net and could fall during the flight. The chopper must come back down. It's a dangerous moment for both Lawa and her rescuers. But finally, they're off. For Wong, this is a hard-won battle. It's been an eight-year journey. But if the release is successful, it may open the door for many more to come.
After a smooth landing, they need to quickly move Lauer into the shade. Every step is an effort in the muddy conditions. Okay, okay, bye, bye, bye. The tree cover provides some welcome relief, but Lauer is restless. You know, even I can smell the forest here. I think she sent something in the jungle. That's why she wanted to dig. She really want to go out right now. OK, OK, we need to move fast here. Yeah, she's set to bite already. Lauer's getting stressed. The team can't hang about now. Wong needs everyone to be at a safe distance before the release. A disoriented and scared Lauer okay, okay, could okay. charge. Okay. There's no time for ceremonies, not even a goodbye. This is it. She's uh, run for freedom. You're on your own, Lauer. I hope you live long and uh, can make it in this forest. This is where you truly belong. Good. Wong knows he's okay. unlikely to ever see her again. This forest is vast. There's no chain link fence. There's no electric fence in this forest. This is like 1,200 square kilometers of forest. It's a bittersweet moment, but one of great hope. 40 other bears at the center could soon be following in Lawa's footsteps, back into freedom.